I set up the um, Google Home system uh, probably a couple of weeks ago, and I have not done anything with the automation yet um, until this past week. I did get the Samsung Smart Things Hub, and I also got um, the uh, bulbs the uh, from the actual website from Samsung, and uh, got two bulbs. Unfortunately, one didn't work with my kitchen fixture which is over here. And uh, I had um, TCP lighting before this with Lightif, uh, not Lightify, Lightify is with the um, Osram that I got from Samsung. Those are the bulbs that are the bulb that's not working in this uh, fixture. This is just a typical um, ceiling, hanging ceiling fixture in a kitchen. Um, LED bulbs from another, like I said, TCP system uh, that I bought at Home Depot worked. I still have that bulb in there because when I put in these Osram bulbs they are not uh, actually um, being detected when I put the switch on so I don't know what the problem is I've contacted Osram uh, I don't know um, it's very disappointing but uh, stuff like that does happen um, so I want to see what they come back with but in the meantime I did put a bulb in the front floor uh, lamp um, and it works in there and I added it to uh, it's in that lamp right there and uh, what I'm gonna do is show you how it works um, was pretty easy to install um, so let's do it okay Google turn on front floor lamp okay, turn the front floor lamp on. so as you can see the, the lamp did actually uh, go to the command it worked and uh, so far no problems I set that up yesterday I also got the uh, water leak sensors as well I put one under the kitchen sink and so far you know it seems to be pretty good uh, no faults is in 24 hours uh, did do the testing uh, and I did detect the um, the water. Uh, I did a cup of water on the counter and it did detect it and uh, set up the text messaging alerts and it works really well. Uh, so, so far pretty good except for the one bulb not working in the, uh, the, the kitchen fixture, which is again disappointing, but I'm sure I'll find a res resolve for that <clears throat> at some point. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that because TCP did stop doing um, the company I was using at Home Depot did stop um, remote access so I can't control it from uh, outside of my home the timer works and I can control the lights from the app inside the house but I can't control it from the internet so which defeats the purpose of an automation type of system so I'm sure they'll get that worked out I'm sure the Samsung will get to work out with the bulb here um, the other systems in the past and I don't want to use it anymore <laughs> that's why I got the smart things and I can actually access stuff from away from home um, but I'm going to turn the lamp off now I'm going to give the command to the uh, Google Home and again it was pretty easy to set up with Google Home you just go in uh, the app settings and uh, for the actual home app and you just go into the, uh, the the settings for the actual Google Home and then go to the um, home devices section and you can add a Samsung smart things device um, very easy detects it um, one two three it was very simple um, so here we go I'm um, here we go with the uh, other command okay Google turn off front floor lamp you got it. Turn the front floor lamp off. and there you go and you could also do the dimming settings with that as well with the commands um, you could do um, another demand uh, command uh, okay Google turn front floor lamp on 50% It did dim it some. You probably can't see because it's still a little bit light out, but it did dim it. And uh, last evening I did a 10%. I did 25%. It worked flawlessly, and it was uh, very nice. Uh, dimmed the, the lower settings, uh, a little more ambiance, and uh, also a little less energy, I would imagine. Uh, these bulbs don't run very much anyway, being LED, which is great. Um, you know, if you want to keep the light on just for keeping the house bright, and you don't have to worry about the cost. You know, it's just nice. Um, but anyway... Uh, let me know if you have any questions on the uh, setup of the home automation with Google Home or anything with Samsung SmartThings. I'm still pretty new to the SmartThings thing. SmartThings thing, yeah. And uh, But here's my Google Home sitting on my kitchen uh, counter. Um, very easy setup for that as well. And right now you can get it for $99.95 through most retailers and uh, Best Buy, Walmart, all of them are selling it for the next at least next few days at $99.95. I paid $129.95. I bought it like uh, three weeks ago. Um, so I'm going to see the price is not that bad. They're $30 difference, but 
maybe Walmart will adjust it for me if they're nice. So uh, I'll check that out this week as well. But anyway, that's it for now, guys. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little video. And uh, let me know if you had any questions on the setup and anything like that. And I'll be glad to answer any questions. Thanks. Have a great afternoon or evening, wherever you are.